In this program, we're going to learn about invertebrates. What is an invertebrate? An invertebrate is an animal without an internal skeleton or backbone. Invertebrates come in a wide variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. A snail and an octopus are examples of invertebrates called mollusks. Mollusks live in water and some land habitats. An octopus does not have any type of bone structure, shell, or exoskeleton for protection. Octopus spray ink that blinds their enemies. Worms are invertebrates and part of a group of animals named annelids. Most annelids live in places that are moist or wet. Butterflies, ants, bees, and other bugs are part of another type of invertebrates called insects. Insects are animals that have an outer skeleton. It's called an exoskeleton. The outer skeleton protects and supports the insect. Crustaceans are invertebrates with an exoskeleton. Common crustaceans include lobsters and crabs. Most crustaceans live in water, although there are a few crustaceans that live on land. A jellyfish is an example of an invertebrate. They're part of a group of invertebrates called cnidarians. An anemone is a cnidarian too. Sea anemones have numerous stinging tentacles and sharp spines for protection. Echinoderms are a group of invertebrates that include starfish and sea cucumbers. Spiders are part of a group of invertebrates called arachnids. Arachnids have eight legs and an exoskeleton for support and protection. The smallest animals on Earth are invertebrates called protozoa. Protozoa are simple, one-celled animals. Invertebrates make up 98% of all animal species on Earth. The other 2% are vertebrates, or animals with a backbone and an internal skeleton. Vertebrates include a wide variety of mammals, reptiles, birds, amphibians, and fish. Now that you better understand invertebrates, here's something to think about. What different kinds of protective adaptations have invertebrates developed? Think about it.